Good morning vlog. So I had some time today, so I decided to film a quick get ready with me for work edition. Really, it's just a get ready for me, but I'm going to work. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm prep my face. Um, I always use the Banana Bright Eye Cream by Oleo Hendrix. As you can see, like I use this religiously. It's almost gone. Um, I always get the mini travel size kits because these things are really expensive, but I love it. And then I did some pore professional primer with Benefit Cosmetics. Halloween is over, one of my favorite fall holidays, and Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Yesterday, I took down all of my decorations, um, kind of throughout the house and outside just to give it less of a Halloween effect and more of a fall vibe um but then i also went to home goods yesterday and you know i already like got stuff you know what i'm gonna use this light i have a light on here let's make it better oh my goodness okay we have light so <laughs> funny story i actually got this new little mini like tripod that i actually got more so to like use for TikTok, but I haven't actually used it for TikTok, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use it for get ready with me. I'm just contouring. This is the Fenty Beauty Highlight Highlighter Cream Kit. This is in Truffle. And I just use this to give areas like a little bit more definition. Contouring your nose like kind of makes it look a little bit skinnier. And I just highlight the little cheekbone areas like that. <clears throat> I have like a whole bunch of stuff from Shein that I wanted to do like a fall haul on, but then there was all that drama with the tags. I don't know if you guys have watched on TikTok, but I checked all my stuff and I didn't see anything in that. So I don't, I don't know. I feel like kind of torn, I guess, on if I want to. Do a she and try. I just used um, the Fenty Ease Drop. This is the Boring Skin Tint in shade 17. Basically, my whole face these days is like Fenty Beauty. I'm also wearing Fenty sweats today. This is not sponsored, just a happy little coincidence. Life has been pretty crazy lately. Like, we've had so many family events. Um, Art and I went to Disneyland a couple of weeks ago. I'm sure by now you guys have watched that vlog if you have it. Um, I'll link it above and you guys should check that video out because we had such a good time up in Anaheim. It's just kind of like a nice quick little getaway for us to just go and relax and reconnect, which is always a good thing. I am really gearing up to like crank out a lot more content. I've been watching um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Sonali, and I started watching her like when her channel was about at the point that my channel is now. She's doing like all of these brand deals and hosting parties now. Like, I don't know, it's just so cool to like see her growth and how much consistency pays off if you really stick with it. <clears throat> but I haven't done like a get to know me video in a while so I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to introduce myself reintroduce myself and say thank you to all of my new subscribers who've been subscribing to my channel lately um it's pretty awesome just to see the growth from the beginning of January to now I just want you guys to know that I really um appreciate you guys taking time to watch my channel and spend time watching my videos. It's really awesome. Well, my name is Trisha Taylor. I do vlog content and I am, my home base is here in San Diego, California. Um, I absolutely love all things beauty, empowering other women. I love travel. So you'll see like a lot of travel content on my channel it's absolutely like my favorite thing to do so much to the point that like at one time i was seriously considering being a flight attendant um because hey 
great way to travel. I do have a couple of trips planned. Me and my best friend Ashley and my friend Jamie were all getting ready to go to Cabo in January. Um, we're so excited. That's gonna be like such a fun little girls trip to have. And I can't wait. Like it's gonna be a good like mid winter checkpoint, especially after the holiday season. Currently I work full time in like retail right now. And as you guys know, the holiday season is just hectic and chaotic and crazy. So right now I'm just kind of like planning out how I'm going to um, stay consistent with content and then also making sure that I'm like taking care of myself. But <clears throat> I started my channel all the way back in 2017. So I've had my channel for like a long time. There's a lot of videos that I currently do not have posted up just because like they're older. But if you've been rocking with me since 2017, like you're a real OG and I just really appreciate you um, writing with me and going on this journey. Um, for those of my friends know, like I worked for a company that like was not really into me doing the whole vlogging YouTube thing. And like now it's so interesting because everybody does it, right? Everybody has content and there's companies now who are pretty much like making a part of their job description, like to promote content, which is actually really smart of them to do. Um, and currently that's how my current job is. So it's nice that they um, support that and you know, they understand the power of social media. So I said all I had to say, like I started my channel a long time ago, but then like I kind of stopped doing it for a little while and I really regret that decision. Like I wish I just would have stuck with it from the very beginning. I'm just setting a couple of those areas with my Fenty Beauty Powder. This is in shade Banana. This just like sets your concealer so it doesn't crease or anything like that. <clears throat> I'm actually going step by step and telling you the products I'm using because I had a couple of people tell me that they were watching my channel and I wasn't like explaining what I was doing. I guess I'm so used to doing my makeup routine. I forgot to tell the products and people want to know like what I'm using and what I'm doing. I trimmed up my eyebrows today. I do have my eyebrows microbladed, which I love. I used to be so bad at doing my eyebrows. So it's like kind of a cheat because it always gives you a consistent outline of like where to start. I'm using my um, Benefits Brow Pencil. This is in shade 4.5. So this one's actually like pretty dark. I dyed my hair red a couple of weeks ago. I guess it's almost been a month now, which I love. And I also did my brows too. That way there was like a little bit of red in there, which is, you know, just really nice. So I'm basically just going and outlining these so they look good. I don't do my makeup too, too crazy for work, but you know, I'm gonna look put together and nice for our guest. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I used to wear really heavy makeup, but honestly now I just wear the Fenty skin tint. And honestly, now that it's like fall winter, I probably should start wearing heavier foundation because my tan is gonna fade very quickly. Especially this year because I really wasn't at the beach that much. Like, our goal is to go to the beach a lot, but it just, it didn't happen this year. So I am gonna get pretty pale pretty quickly. And you know, your face is always lighter than the rest of your body. So I'm kind of transitioning into those lighter colors. I do live in San Diego, but right now it's so cold. Like I woke up this morning. I woke up yesterday morning with 62 degrees outside. I was like, what is happening? It was 68 degrees in my house. And I'm someone who gets cold 
fairly easily. So I was like, this is too cold for me. This is like a cream foundation stick by Juevis Place. This is in Dominica color. As you can see, I use a lot. I actually brook it. <laughs> I just take like a flat brush and put it on there. I just go and like clean up the lines on my brows. So it looks good. I haven't really got any like new beauty products that like I love lately. <clears throat> I should probably start reinvesting in that. I always get like <clears throat> kind of like a restock for the year um, during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. I love it. It's like their December sale and I will probably be doing a lot more getting ready with me's in December so I can show you like all the cool stuff that I got from that. <clears throat> and other news, like I'm really gonna be working on my fitness routine. And I just bought like some new workout shoes. I don't know what it is, but it's like if you have new cute stuff, you just, you're more motivated to work out. At least I am. All right, so I'm gonna take that Banana Bright um, powder and I'm gonna set my eyebrows. So I normally use the Anastasia brow pencil and I really like that one because it, doesn't smear but for whatever reason my benefit it smears so I'll always come home at the end of the day and I'll have like a mark here from where I accidentally like touch my brows so just pressing some of that powder into your eyebrows just like cleans up that area and sets it a little bit better this is a Fenty Beauty um, Cocoa Nutty this is just a bronzer and after I do the contour on my nose I always go in and I just kind of like redefine that with the powder a little bit and then I brush it back into here this kind of creates a cute little base all right so I don't want any of my powder to set too too long on there I don't want it to be really heavy or cakey so we're just going to brush that away that's one thing, like, I'm going to get my morning routine locked in. Like, I'm going to set my clothes out the night before, be responsible, so my morning's easier. Um, this is also Duavis Place. This is shade 14 in their concealer. I just have a couple of spots. Oh my god, this is almost completely out. I thought I'd buy a new one of these, but I guess I didn't. Um, right in here, that's like always dark like the bags under my eyes so I'll typically go in afterwards and like just put a little bit more down to brighten that area and ironically those color is like a little bit darker than my regular concealer but layering it like in that area it makes it look better I think what I'm probably gonna do is like a get to know me post with questions. I think that will kind of help guide me in what you guys probably want to know about me. I'm originally from Missouri, fun fact. I moved to San Diego in 2009 after I graduated college, so I've been here for a long time. I'm taking my Tarte Pro Remix. I love these. These have such cute fall, like vibrant, fun colors. I think I'm just going to take this really pretty like brown color. I need to clean my brushes. And I'm just gonna like put some on my lids. My makeup really is minimal compared to like what it used to be. Like I rarely wear eyeliner or lashes. I'll probably, honestly, I need to start getting my lashes done again because especially for the holidays, like, you know, it's just a vibe and it makes me feel better. I think I have a couple of credits for that too. So yeah, that's something I should probably do. All right, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is an oldie but a goodie. I have recently started using this again and freaking love it. <laughs> love it. I'm just gonna do my bottom lashes. But I normally do my lashes during summer because you wear less makeup and 
you know, you're just always put together. It's nice going to the gym. You don't feel like you're going bare face because your makeup's like, it looks like it's done even when it's not done. So that's something I'm gonna put back into rotation. I just need to do like a maintenance day in general, like getting my nails done, getting my lashes done, all of those things for fall. Especially since the holiday season and retail is going to be kicking up, you know, and I know you want to set the mood, you want to look the best for the people, for the public. I don't know what I'm doing this year for Thanksgiving. Last year I cooked a big meal and Ashley and I typically always do Thanksgiving together. She's going home for Christmas with her dad and we do like surf and turf. But this year will be the first year that Art's parents have officially moved to San Diego. So they, I think, probably want to go out to eat at a restaurant. And honestly, that's like kind of good for me because I'm going to be busy with the holidays. So not cooking sounds like a vibe. <laughs> not doing all the work sounds like a vibe. Next, I'm taking my Morphe uh, Phenom. This is another like bronzer. I probably need to get like a new one, but like in a lighter color. I'm actually gonna look into that. Um, and just kind of like go over this a little bit. I saw this girl do this and I did this yesterday and I liked it just right here. I like that. It's like two different areas of contour, but... Mm. It just gives you that little I like it all right and then finally I'm going to finish off this look this is my Truelicious Lucky Go Bronze Highlighter Palette I always use this one for my blush like unless you've been living on a rock you know that blush is like in right now because it is so I'm just gonna do it like really high up here and kind of blend it into that contour I like doing apples in the cheek. I know like people have just been doing it like up here lately, but I put it everywhere. Gives you kind of that youthful glow. And that's pretty much my makeup. I'll probably put on some lipstick later. So last night I washed my hair. Doing this red vibe. Every time I wash it, it like fades out. So like every other wash, I have to do like a color depositing shampoo in it. If you guys hear panting in the background, it's my dog Buddy. He is a golden retriever Chow Chow mix, and he's so loud. <laughs> like he gets hot very easily. So like you probably hear him breathing in the background. It's just my laddie. My coworkers told me that they kind of like the lighter pieces, like the coppery ones, which is cool because like every other wash is like lighter <laughs> from the, just the red coloring, like fading. I got like my color depositing shampoo from Sally's, it's in the shade copper, but it just keeps my color fresh. I actually washed my hair last night because it was so gross, so nasty. <laughs> and I normally typically just let my hair air dry. I never blow dry it out unless like I need to get ready really quickly because I don't want to do like a lot of heat damage on my hair. So if you have hair that you can just sleep and air dry overnight, do that. Me taking down my hair, that's what it looks like after it air dries overnight. <laughs> like this. <laughs> I do get Brazilian blowouts. Treatments on my hair. Pretty regularly, like every three to six months. Depending on the weather, I feel like in the summertime I have to do it every three months. In the winter I can kind of stretch it out a little bit more. Just cause it's like not as, you know, humid. I don't know why, but this year in San Diego, this summer was very, very humid. <laughs> so it seemed like I had to do it 
more often. This is my favorite straightener. This is what my hairstylist used. It's the Croc Rose Gold Edition and the heating settings on it are really high. It just gives my hair such a really done, seamlessly flawless look. When I straighten my hair, I just go in pretty thin layers over it. That's the thing, like if you want a really smooth look, you gotta like take your time and just go in thin layers. Like you can't do big sections at a time. You wanna make sure that you get all the way up to the root. <clears throat> I kinda expect my hair to look a little fluffy today since it's freshly washed. But I smooth it out with a wax stick. This is S&TE, I don't even know, like, hair wax stick. It's like eight bucks on Amazon. And it's good for those little flyaways. Oh my gosh, I just hear my stomach growling. One thing I'm gonna start doing is having a protein shake for breakfast every day. Cause I feel like I never have time to get breakfast. I used to take a protein shake to work like every single morning with me when I worked in the restaurant. I don't know why I got out of that habit, but it just really helps with like, I don't know, hunger cravings. I do have food at work today that I didn't eat last time. What happens is I get really hungry like when it's almost my break time and then I break down and I have a snack at the mall, which is like not good. And then I don't want to eat my healthy lunch that I took, so I'm definitely going to start on the protein shake kick again. I'm also going to probably do 12, 3, 30, starting in like the next week, going to the gym every day and trying to like do 12 incline three pays for 30 minutes every day to make sure that I'm consistent with my movement. <clears throat> my last couple of days off, I've been taking the dogs for like a good long walk, which has been really nice, especially since the weather's like kind of perfect. Yesterday, um, after Home Goods, I went to McDonald's and I got them a treat. I got them a 10 piece chicken nugget and I normally divide it between Buddy and Diego. And we went to the park and we had lunch together. They absolutely love chicken nuggets. It's like, I don't know, they get a kick out of like, I think going through the drive-thru and everybody always makes a fuss over like how cute they are. I don't do it too, too often because you know, it's not probably super healthy for them, but every now and then just a little treat. And both of them really love going on like car rides. So my day off, I always, have them come with me to run errands especially now that it's like fall and it's getting cooler it's a lot easier to just leave them in the car when I need to and like run in really quick they really appreciate it and then plus they like nap for the rest of the day if they're like tired from their excursions I'm telling you guys like I used to be such an organized person I used to preset out my outfits every day I'm gonna get back in the habit of doing because I'm telling you, I absolutely know it will make my life easier. Do you guys have a morning routine? Like, I'm curious. I've also started getting up like 15 minutes earlier. I did it this week, so I think next week I'm gonna try getting up like 30 minutes earlier just so I can be more productive in my day and get more stuff done. When I get to this part, I typically try to straighten it like this to make sure that I get the roots really good. And then I can just go and start doing the sides because the back is pretty much done. I also got the, like, the heatless curler that I think I'm going to try, I don't know, maybe tonight to see what it looks like doing all this work to straighten out my hair and then I'm gonna try the heatless curler but maybe for dinner tomorrow night like I want to see like 
how good of a job it does. I see a lot of like my YouTube girls doing it and it works pretty good on their hair. And I'm always here for like Pila, so that's how I keep my hair pretty healthy is I try not to use heat on it like if I can avoid it. It just takes so much for girls to look their best. <laughs> I don't know, we're hard on ourselves sometimes. I feel like we add stuff to their unnecessary. Last step, take my beauty stick. I just, or wax stick. I mean, I guess it is a beauty stick. And just pull down the roots here. So you get a nice, smooth look. No flyaways. All right guys, thanks for getting ready with me and I'll see you later. Love you.